Somewhere in the middle of Sweden's largest lake, there's a small hotel. Half of it's above water, half of it's below. And every day, somebody gets a chance to stay there. And tonight, that someone's me. The Hotel Uter, or Otter in English, is definitely a quirky stay. And something that I haven't done before. Right now, I'm going to meet my captain that is planning on leaving me stranded for the rest of the night out in the middle of the lake. Hey, do you know who I talked to to go to the, the Uter Inn? Uh, yeah, that was probably uh, one of us. One of you? Okay. Yeah. Okay, I found the boat. It's way bigger than I thought it was going to be. This is the first boat I've been on that has a, you know. Also, I think that this is way too much stuff to bring for one night, but we're making food. That's pretty nice. It like keeps you on the shore there too. Yeah. How far out is it? It's really, it's really close. Okay. So you can probably see it kind of behind the trees, like right behind the boat that's driving by okay. right here. Okay. It's, it's, it's really close. So if I needed to, I can swim back. <laughs> yeah, if you needed to. Yeah. This will be my first time staying in a underwater hotel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's really cool. And we're off. All right. So we just came out right here. We're driving all the way up. Well, not all the way. Short drive to the Uteren. But this is the uh, the biggest lake here in Sweden. You can just see how big it is. <laughs> there we go. All right, yeah. see you in the morning, maybe. <laughs> Just like that, we're alone. <laughs> so, this is the place right here. The Hotel Utter. This looks like a good time to give you a house tour. Yo, what's up? <laughs> I was expecting you, come on in. All right, so, this is my kitchen. This is where I get stuff done. Make the food, put the bread on the table, you know what I'm saying? We don't quite have the electrical figured out yet, so we got this. All right, don't mind that. Over here, we have the dining table for if you got a hot date and really need to schmooze her on the lake. We got this big heater that I'm not really sure if it works. And all the lights in here, man, they're eco-friendly. They run on batteries because we care about the planet. This is where I get my business done, my mobile office, circle windows, Sweden. And down here, this is where the magic happens. Oh my gosh, that's terrifying. And the underwater part of the underwater hotel. This is where the magic happens. Any fish. It really is a window cleaning service. Oh, there's a fish right here. Did you see that? Oh, look at There's a perch right here. Dude. So this thing's held down to the bottom with two 25-pound anchors. So with a strong wind, we could probably start moving. And that's basically that, so why don't you get out of here? But yeah, that's that's the gist of it. I also have a roommate. I'm going to have to learn how to live with spiders. I might come out of this place, Spider-Man. Spider-Man. We are only about five kilometers from shore, so if I really need to, I don't, I'm not going to need to, but I could, I think I could swim across it without drowning. But this is where I'm gonna spend the next indefinite future. It's in this little cute red cabin. So Sweden's, oh, oh. So Sweden's obviously a unique place, but you can find unique places within unique places by using today's sponsor of the video, Viator.
In fact, earlier today, I was on a Viator experience here in Sweden. I went to the Drottingham Palace and the Gripsholm Castle and was able to do a private tour with my lovely tour guide, Kate. Not only did I see a lot of amazing sights inside of this castle, old paintings, cool chandeliers, Viking ruins, but I also learned a lot about the history of Sweden in a very short amount of time. Viator has over 300,000 travel experiences and something for everyone. If you feel unsure about something and you're not sure if it's cool or not, go ahead and check out their reviews because there's millions of them. Whether you want to go to a private viewing tour of the Coliseum or fly on a helicopter above Las Vegas late at night and take pictures with your friends, they have everything. When you book a travel experience with Viator, there's always flexibility and support with free cancellation, payment options, and 24-7 service. Between the uh, detailed descriptions and the real traveler reviews, Viator is giving you the inside scoop so you know exactly what to expect when you're on vacation. If you want to check out the experiences on Viator, I definitely think you should. Check it out on Viator.com and book something like I have right here. And check out to see if any of the 300,000 experiences that are available on the website are for you. Which I have to tell you, one of them definitely is. So just do it. Thanks to them for sponsoring this video. I think I want some blueberries. Blueberries. This is gonna sound so silly, but what about water? I mean, I know I'm surrounded by water, of course. All right, well, get some boiling water. I think I have a little bit in my bottle. Oh, I'll survive. survive. Keep on trucking, man. I got myself a little present today. We're going fishing. All right, first I think I'm gonna try these out. But it's like a hand line fishing setup. I'm just gonna grab myself a worm here. Now we're just gonna toss it out there and see what happens. Whoa. Oh, dude, I got one. Did you see that puffer fish coming out? Oh, it's a brim. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Goodbye. It didn't take long at all, did it? What another bite. Oh, my line just broke. Another brim. Look at this thing. I don't know if this is like a shad or what this is, but. Oh, not in the blueberries. Not in the blueberries. Look how shiny it is. I think it's a shad. It's huge. All I know is in Minnesota, we, we do not have those fish. I think I got 50 worms. This is fun. Oh, there was a bite. I like the what that first one did. It just shot straight down. Oh. There we go. Got some. Perch! Look at that perch. I caught myself a Swedish fish. Cute little Swedish fish. Mwah. Thanks, buddy. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Mwah. All right, now give me a kiss. No, it's kidding. Don't do that. Don't give me a kiss. Leave me alone. I need to have a fika. And what is a fika? You might ask. Well, this is a fika. Ooh. Or known as a coffee break. Commonly shared with a sweet treat like a cinnamon roll or cardamom bread. This is my second one of the day, which is actually what everybody's doing in Sweden. Employers are required to give two fikas a day for 20 minutes each to let their employees have a break and have a coffee. So my employer's just abiding by the rules. However, today I did learn a very interesting fact that Sweden is actually the number one consumer per, they're the leading consumer of coffee per person. They battle with Finland because every year it's either Finland or Sweden or Finland or Sweden or Finland or Sweden. It's so yummy. Especially the worms on my fingers. Oh, ow. 
Oh no. Oh, that's not good. Oh. I just tried to shut the drone off and it almost went in the lake. And so I grabbed it. But the things, I mean, I went like this and then it. Oh. Yeah, that was from my finger. The drone, like, I took it off right here and it just, like, slowly started drifting, like, into the rail. And it was, like, hovering right here and it started hitting the the post and it was like looking like it was gonna fall in the lake so i just stuck my hand down like this and scooped it in oh god i hate you and i love you okay i'm gonna stop being a baby that was nothing i'm fine all right we're catching a big fish oh is that a bite yep that's a bite it's not what i'm looking for but you're a fish because you're a rocket shad oh rocket shad All right, so today we are making Swedish meatballs. Yay! Now I know some of you are like, Maverick, didn't you make Swedish meatballs not too long ago? I did, but I made the ones from Ikea. Today we're making actual from scratch Swedish meatballs with scratch mashed potatoes. So it's gonna be a little bit different. Also, Please keep an eye on this bobber for me while I'm in here because I could very well catch a fish when I'm cooking. This is our stove we're working with tonight. It's a regular two burner camp stove with a hose that runs all the way outside to a 10 pound propane tank under here that I may or may not have caught leaking earlier. So I feel like I'm back on a boat. Oh, it's a hot potato. Hey Alexa, subscribe to Mav on YouTube. Thanks. Delicious. All right, got ourselves some mashed potatoes. I mean, they're a little chunky because I don't have a masher, but I'd say they're about perfect, honestly. Mm -hmm. That looks pretty good. I'm 
Anybody want spider meatballs? Bah! Okay, who turned on the waves? Oh my gosh, dude. That was my friggin... Oh my god, bro. Are you friggin kidding me? Oh... God dang it. Oh... Stay on a floating hotel, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Ta-da! All better. Howdy. How's it going? How you doing? Good. Good. Cool. Thank you. Sweet. I'll see you in the morning. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. All right. I'm on my last batch of meatballs. And the guys surprised me with 10 liters of water. Oh, no. Now the big spiders are coming out. We're in spider heaven, man. I am. I'm really gonna turn into Spider Man. My spidey senses are tingling. This is pretty cool, though. Can't lie. Since I got out here, the wind has definitely picked up. I just checked the weather app and it says it's going seven miles an hour right now. So I think I might be getting rocked to sleep tonight, which is fine. I'm gonna be getting some kisses from you. Give me a kiss. Wow, that's creepy, huh? And then we descend into the abyss. I haven't gone down on the backpack yet, and it makes me a little bit nervous, especially now that I have one hand. All right, let's take it slow. All right, and here we are, six meters below the surface of the lake <laughs> in an underwater hotel for the first time. I really can't tell if I like that thing open or not. What'd you do? You shut it? I feel like I would shut it. I feel like I should shut it. These are looking good though. Got a nice blue hue to them now. Okay. Dude, this wind is kind of gnarly. I can feel it down here. Okay, so on a soft scale, this bez like those mashed potatoes. I'm double duveted up on a Thursday because there's nobody sleeping next to me. There's no outlets in a underwater hotel floating in the middle of the lake. Imagine that. Well, one thing that's nice is that I've realized the gigantic spiders don't like it underwater quite as much. I'm gonna head to sleep. I'll see you in the morning. Hopefully. Good morning, Finn. Good morning, Finn. Yeah, this is man. Oh, there you are, Finn. What's up, buddy? Mm. Ooh.
later, Kevin. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Well, at least we've got some memories and some stories to tell. <laughs> and all of our fingers. Sure love trip here in Sweden. I want to make it back here one day. If you guys have any video ideas or things that you want to see, let me know in the comments down below. But as always, until next time, you're another drill, just keep on trucking.